Hi there, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com and Lloyd Macedo TV. Um, I just happened to speak to one of my friends and uh, she gave me a shocking incident that, you know, just had occurred a few minutes ago. It seems apparently her friend, who is a mother of a, of a young child, a girl, she happened to take photographs, uh, asking someone to take photographs while she was washing her baby, washing her private parts and, you know, cleaning her up. And she not only took photographs, she also took a video and she uploaded this on all the social media channels. Now, for someone like you and me, um, this is not a big deal. Okay, if we see even a naked, if I, even if I see a naked person, a man or a woman, um, oh, so what? What's a big deal? But there are a lot of sick people out there, really, really sick, who even if they see your eyes, even if they see your neck, even this much of your body, the next thing you know is they start having dirty uh, thoughts, they start fantasizing about you and they uh, end up harming you and hurting you. I mean, how stupid can someone be to put up naked photographs of their child on social media? Are you stupid? Aren't you using your head? What's wrong with you? I mean, this lady should be taken aside, given two, three slaps and then told, use your bloody common sense, you know. So now, the main issue here is not just the stupidity of certain parents or certain individuals. Rather, it is what youngsters can do in order to face these sexual predators. Now, to be very honest with you, I have, I had, I was sexually molested when I was young. And I, I, I don't feel uh, shy or uh, ashamed about it. It's some shit that really happened. Okay. It's a reality of life. So now the question is, what do you do when you face sexual predators like this? Okay. Now these are, uh, I'm not saying these are the most universal or these are the most uh, powerful weapons that you can use, but these weapons have worked for me. Now the five, uh, uh, five suggestions I can give you are the following. The first one. If you are facing sexual molestation or if you're facing these sexual predators, the first thing you need to do is ask for help. Ask everyone for help. Every person that you know. Go to your father, your mother, your uncle, your aunt. Uh, go to your friends. Go to your friends' fathers. Go to every person that you know. In fact, even go to the police because you need help. In, in my case, even though uh, when, I face, uh, when I was sexually molested by my own relative, I, I went to my parents. Uh, I, I don't think they did a very good job. Uh, to tell you very honestly and the worst part about Indian families that are conservative what they tend to do is they just try to subdue this matter they just uh, you know uh, you know keep it under wraps so what I suggest is speak to everyone possible that you know uh, and even if people believe you or don't believe you just keep going until you get an answer that is the first one is seek help the second one is practice now I know this might sound crazy but you need to practice in front of the mirror I used to keep practicing uh, because, you know, when I used to go shopping, I used to wear these shorts. These shopkeepers used to come and they used to start touching my balls and my genitalia. Uh, one second, my, my dog. Sorry, my, my, my dogs are just a little lonely. Okay, now, uh, as I was telling you, uh, these shopkeepers is that's my genitalia, my private parts. Uh, I, I really didn't know what to do until I decided that I had to face these guys. So I started practicing every single day in front of the mirror. I used to practice as if, you know, I was holding the guy's hand, twisting his finger. I even asked guys to help me out uh, in order to practice this, although I didn't tell them for what reason. And finally, when the day came that I actually went there, I actually went there. You know, it's, uh, it was more like fighting your fear, uh, which is the next point. You need to fight your fear after practicing. I went, when he, when he started touching my balls, I immediately grabbed his finger and I twisted it. And he was in pain. After that, he never tried anything funny with me. So the first one is seek help. The second one is practice. The third one is uh, fight your fear. Go ahead and face it. Don't run away from it. The next one is voice. Remember this, if you have a powerful voice, they normally, you know, uh, they, they get scared. Normally, all these sexual predators, these molesters, they like it to be shush, silent, quiet, nobody should hear. So what do you need to do? You need to scream and shout and just say, stop it, don't do it. You know, just scream your, <coughs> your lungs out because when you do that, um, they will obviously realize that, you know, attention is being diverted here and they'll, you know, run away. Or most of all, they will not do anything. The next one is posture. Remember this, your posture or your nonverbal communication speaks volumes. 
So if you are shy, if your shoulders are slouched and if you look like timid, they always want to take attention. Well, you look, you've got to look like a bulldog. You've got to look like an animal. You've got to look like you're going to kick their butt. Well, obviously it takes practice. So if you're a small kid, you've got to look rough and tough. But make sure that your posture is really tough and strong because when they see someone who's confident, they get scared. Then last, if not the least, threaten this person. When the person is doing something, don't keep quiet. Threaten the person, say, I will tell everyone, scream, shout, do whatever it takes to run away. Uh, and make sure that you tell everyone because they hate the publicity. So these are the six points that I can suggest. The first one is seek help. The second one is practice makes perfect. The next one is face your fears. Do not run away from it. Following that, it is your voice. Remember, a louder voice, more powerful voice, confident voice, it always helps. Then have a posture, a non-verbal communication that supports, uh, you know, or is in your favor. And finally, do whatever it takes to get out of it. Uh, threaten the guy uh, when he is when he's going to take advantage of you. Do not keep quiet. So, my dear friends, you know, it has been a journey for me from being the victim to today being an educator of youngsters. I train a lot of youngsters to face sexual predators. I help them fight the sickness that is there in our society. I'm not saying I'm a saint, but I try to do whatever I can. So, I hope this video helps these other youngsters because today sexual predators are just they're everywhere and social media has made it easier for them to prey on youngsters. So I hope this video helps you. And uh, if you have any questions, please send me an email, law at lawmesedo.com. I will keep it confidential. Or you can give me a call on my cell number that is uh, 00971 You can speak to me. If I can help you, I will help you. And uh, let's just spread this message of making uh, this a reality whereby we can fight such animals and keep them away from our society. Thank you very much for watching. This is Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com and LloydMacedo TV. Saying goodbye for now.